Hey there, YouTubers. So, what I did there, I took my line, added some uh, black tape there, electric tape on the tip. I removed the carburetor, the whole thing and all that. So it's all removed. And the way that it was working, it was like that, but I saw that it was already on uh, full throttle, so I didn't bother. It was already going like this, there, it's already full, so. Unless I was removing this and keeping that there, but I don't really care for this part. As uh, one of you said uh, in the comments, uh, we don't need this, so I'm going to try it. And uh, if I don't have enough gas, then I'm just uh, probably going to put some higher voltage on my cell. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start my cell right now. And uh, we're going to try it out. So my cell is not started yet. That's what I'm going to do. It's going to start. There we go. I'm going to wait for the hydrogen to reach. Looks like we have some. I'm just gonna wait, maybe there's still some air inside there. And, well, there is air in the HHO for sure now, but uh, just to remove the, the amount of air that was already in the line. A couple of seconds should do it. So I'm going to put that back there. It's going to be a pressure there for sure. And I'm going to hmm. So we got uh, some uh, change here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some earplugs. get deaf by the end of this experience. What I can see here, I'm getting more uh, reaction than the last time, so it's a good thing so far. Let's it again. Hmm. And I also noticed that the water was reaching here. I saw it going here, so it's. Uh, much pressure. It's pulling the water and you can see it right here. There you go. So I'm going to have to check on this. Remove the water from this line and uh, maybe there is too much water in my uh, bubble right there. I'm going to have to remove a bit from there so it's not sucking up all the way up. Alright, so I'll be right back. Alright, so this is try number two. I removed some water from uh, the water tank, the bubbler. Obviously, it's looking a little bit better here. Still got my earplugs on, by the way. Alright, let's go. Maybe for now. 
go get my papers. Jumping there. Yeah. So this is how it is. As you can see. So I don't know. I have to try something else. Maybe a higher bubbler there. That would do the work. Hopefully. A bunch of things that I can try. For the rest, production seems to be still okay. Maybe there's not enough production. That's probably why the water is coming up in the line. Probably one of you guys will be able to tell me that. But anyway, uh, that's where I'm at right now. And uh, this is to try out uh, without the throttler and all those pieces there. So I'm going to combine those two video and make one a lot of it. Alright. So, oh, have a great one there, YouTubers. Bye -bye. And I just saw that too, eh? Just so you guys know, I got gauge 6 there, allowing my battery to make it a 24 volts. And, uh... There goes the hole there. So it melted down from the heat. I didn't realize it because I was painting the engine, but, uh... Looks like it's building up too much heat there, so I'm probably going to have to gauge it down, uh, maybe to uh, one gauge. The bigger it is, uh, less heat is going to produce, so there is too much heat going through this line, basically. That's what it is, and uh, it melted down one of my pole. So I'm going to have to uh, review this and uh, reconfigure it uh, in another way. Alright, just to show you out, guys, what's going on with this. Bye-bye.